welcome back all of you nana here and then in this session uh, we are going to have a look at uh, the back to back transfer we are now working on 22d so in 22d the refresh and start uh, order promising server has been bypassed so there is no more required so it is equivalent to what happens updating the online memory engine of planning right so there is no more required so if you do the corrections that is more than sufficient right and then there is no need to refresh and start from 22d onwards so naturally what happens that is getting bypassed so there is a good one so we are also expecting this corrections also to go away because in evs we don't have any corrections at all so let us hope that oracle incorporate that also but as of now corrections are there actually mm. so we don't have any other go so let me go on and share and then we'll now see a back to back transfer now <clears throat> back to back transfer so let me go to the product management and then i go to the product information management i'm going to create an item for a back to back transfer <clears throat> So we are working on 22D. So click on it. We'll now go on and create an item. So click on create item. So it is a back-to-back -back transfer actually. So let me uh, create the item on the master shop. I am working on vision actually. So I will now use a vision's master shop. And then they, they have already defaulted one item class actually. And it's okay. And, uh, some template is also applied. Okay, click on it. Okay. We'll now go ahead and then we will now create our item actually. So this item is for the back-to-back -back transfer action. Right? I will now say T01, 01. I will now say back to back-to-back -back transfer. <clears throat> so it is a back-to-back -back transfer actually. Right? Let me take a copy of it. I put the description. I will now go to the specifications. So in the specification, it is a transfer. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. I will now go to the sales and order management. Since it is a back-to-back, -back, so I'm enabling the back-to-back. So there are three back to back, four back to back activities are there. One is a buy, one is a transfer, one is a make, and then one is a dropship. So for all those things, we have to enable this, make it as yes. And then the item defining attribute of customer order is enabled. And then the status attributes of customer order is also enabled. And then it is very much shippable. And then it is invoiceable also. Okay. So these are the normal attributes you're doing it. And then since it is going to be a back to back transfer, we have to enable the internal transfer orders enabled. Internal transfer rule is basically an item defining attribute. And then the corresponding status attribute is what? Transfer order enabled. So these two things also must be on. The, the template is already made it on now. Fine, it's okay. <clears throat> so we have made the back to back as is. And then afterwards, I go to the planning. <clears throat> so in the planning, we have to have the planning time frames set appropriately. So in the planning time frames, I will now make it as 50 days. That means what? All sales orders which are having a request date of uh, what happens uh, for the next 50 days it will be covered if it is beyond the 50 days it will not be covered so if it is going to be huge we can even make it as a final of 5000 also so the next 50 days of uh, sales orders requested date will be compared for a back to back action okay. so back to back is covered so the one and then the planning method the mrp is okay right it's okay and then go down and then it is a customary practice to give a list price in the purchasing even though it is not going to be interface to purchasing it is a customary practice to give a list price on the item actually <clears throat> that's it yeah. And then uh, they have added three more attributes on this. No, fine. Allow substitute is yes. And then allow unordered is yes. This was not available in EBIS. This is available only in the fusion actually. So these three attributes have been added to the item. So all the things are now done set properly. And I will now go there and associate to 001 and 002. Fine. The item is now perfectly set for a back to back. Right? For a back to back with the internal transfer or transfer orders enabled actually. I go to the association. <coughs> back to back is yes here. And go to the associations. And then let me go to actions and then go to self and act. I'll now say 00. I'm sorry for it. I will now associate it to 001 and 002. Okay. Control and select again. These two things are getting selected. So apply and done. Fine, there's no done. So we have now selected these two. And then go there. And then let me go and save it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm now going to <coughs> what make a stock in the second order. From the second order to first org, I'm going to make a move now. Fine, I'm going to move it from second order to first org. So what I go there, I will now click on the home icon. I go to the supply chain execution. I will now go to the supply chain execution. <coughs> I will now go to the supply chain execution. And then here, I go to the, I go to the inventory management. And then let me add to my favorites also. So that what happens, you can very well use this again and again. Now I click on the favorite icon. And then let me add to the favorites. So the favorites, I'm clicking on it and then I'm going to add the favorites. I'm now on 001, I will now change it to 002 and then make a result of this item on the second order. Because we have to have sufficient quantities in the second order. So go to the favorites, I'm going to add the favorites. <clears throat> and then go there, I will now say it's an inventory over here. 
So click on set and close. Go there. So let us now make a miscellaneous result on the second dot and click on the create miscellaneous transaction. And then I'm going to change the art to second dot. So click on it. I will not click on change the art. And then I will not change it to what? 002. So on the second door, I'm going to have a sufficient stock. I'm going to move it to the first door. That is the way I'm going to work upon it. So the org is changed now. Point to second door. From 001, I'm changing it to 002. <clears throat> I'm not coming on this place now. So go there. So here, I'm going to move this mobile icon somewhere here. So go there. I will again go to the miscellaneous transaction. Create miscellaneous transaction. So once we change the org, you can now see in the left-hand side, the org is changed now. I will now put what? MISC and then give it tab. This is a miscellaneous result. I will not put a profit account. This is an offset account actually for the miscellaneous transaction. So click on and drop it down. This has all been fully explained on my previous uh, sessions actually. So choose this and click on it. And then go down. <clears throat> so the item is now created with the appropriate attributes for a back-to-back -back transfer actually. So click on plus. Go there. It is the P0101 of the one. And give it a That is the item. I will now keep it on a store sub inventory. So let me keep the item on the store sub inventory. So give it a tap. So it has been assigned to both dogs. Soon it has been assigned to both dogs, but I am now keeping a stock only on the second sub inventory. And the sub inventory is what go there. I will now choose the stores and then let us now keep sufficient quantity for the store. <coughs> stores, I am going to keep it sufficient quantity. 10,000 is more So click on the I will now keep five quantities on the first store. On the first store, I am going to keep five quantities. So on the first talk, I'm going to keep five quantities over there. So the second org, we have sufficient quantity from that. We are going to move it from the second or first talk. So on the first talk, what I'm going to do is I'm now keep some five quantities <clears throat> for testing it actually. So go to this place. So we are now completing the miscellaneous transaction, miscellaneous result now for the back-to-back -back transfer item now. Find T0101 of the one. There's the item for which we are not, not done. I will now go there and then I will now go there and then change the R. I will again go to the miscellaneous transaction and then change the R to 001. I will now go to the miscellaneous result and then change the organization to what? 001. 001. Okay. So by which this is now changed to 001. So this is now changed to 001. <coughs> So let us now keep some quantity of five now for this item. I go to the great miscellaneous transaction. It is EMISC, and then give it app. So we're going to come over here now. And miscellaneous result. I will now choose the account over here. Click on yes. So go there. So I am in this zero first dog, right? Zero zero one mark. Is a T zero one zero one and then give it on the same store sub inventory. The sub inventory is the same for zero zero one and zero zero two actually, as far as vision is concerned. I will now keep a quantity of five. Five. I'm now going to make a sales order for 12 quantities and now see what happens. So we have already on zero zero one five quantities and go there to the side. Now, having made the results, now what we had to do is we had to perform a collection. We had to perform a collection. So okay, okay. Fine. The confirmation message is coming. Now we are going to perform a collection. I click on the home icon. I go to the supply chain planning and then go to the plan inputs. I go to the supply chain planning. <clears throat> so go there. I'm going to go to the supply chain planning. <clears throat> supply chain planning and then I go to the plan inputs. And then if I query my item, item will not be available in the planning area at all. So T01, you go there and then make a search. So let us not perform a collection for this. Right? Item is not available. Anymore. So let us not go there, click on it. Let us not perform a collection for this. So go to the collect planning data. <clears throat> so for the first time when you're working on an instance, what you have to do is you have to perform a full collection actually. Like what happens if you make it as an OPS and then you go for a targeted <clears throat> and then bring all the reference data to the right hand side. And then similarly on the supply planning data, bring everything to the right hand side. So make one collection I've already done it. So it takes a long time. So it takes around 20 to 30 minutes approximately. This is already done. So now what I do is on the supply plan, I will not collect only the on and fine. Second time I'm collecting it, I'm collecting only on and on the reference data, I'm going to collect only item. So bring it over there. I will not collect only item. So this will be somewhat fast actually. So item is collected here, and then the supply chain planning data, whatever the on and is getting collected. 
So this will be somewhat fast. Can click on submit. So once when this is completed, you can now see your item available in the planning area. So in the meantime, what about I will right click on the duplicate. Go there. And then we will now start to perform the GOP setups. So GOP setups are required. We will now perform the GOP setups. So go to the place. I will now click on the home icon and then I go to the order management and then go to the GOP. I can click on the home icon. So I go to the order management. Go to the home icon. And then here I will now go to the order management. <coughs> you go to the order management. I want visible here. Uh, order management is here. And go to the global order policy. So there are three setups are required. The first setup you can do only when the item is collected. You can go to the brand inputs and then make a search. Now, fine. Once when the collection is completed, you will not find the item coming over here. Fine. Do not it now. So it takes some time. Now. No coming. Fine. In the meantime, what happens? You will not do the second setup. Now, fine. Click on it. You will not go there and do the second setup. The first setup is what? Manage ATP rules. And then the second setup is what? Manage sourcing rules. I go to the manage sourcing rules. I am not going to create two sourcing rules for this. Fine. 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 So let me create two sourcing rules for this exercise actually. I will not say T01. Fine. I will not say buy from. You're going to buy. Fine. I will not say simply buy. So the T01 buy. Fine. So let me take a copy of it and then put it in the description. So it is a global one. Buy is always a global. So click on plus. So the sourcing will affect it. Click on. I will say go and give a plus. So here, what I'm going to do is I will now make it as a buy. So make it as a buy. And then the supplier is what? I will now put ABC Consulting. It's a ready-made supplier available in the instance actually. I will now choose the ABC Consulting. And then it has got a US site also. Drop it down. I will now choose the US site. <coughs> Fine, ABC US one. Again. And then I'm going to allocate it to 100% of mine. So the entire thing I'm buying it from this place. I'm sorry, it's not a buy actually, it's a transfer. Sorry, I made a mistake actually. <laughs> so give a cancel away. It is a transfer actually. I'm not performing. I was thinking that I'm making a buy actually. So I will now say, uh, T01, I will now say transfer from 002 to 001. So always give a meaningful name so that whatever you can easily understand it. The rules names must be very clear and concise for you so that you can easily understand the patient. And then it is a local one. When it's going to be transferred, it must be a local one. A local one. And then the organization is what? The receiving organization is 001. And put the receiving organization here. Fine. Click on plus. <coughs> and then put the dates. Date is now starting. Fine over there. So go to actions and then go to add a row. So it is going to be a transfer action. So transfer. I will now say you are transferring from 002. This is a 002 R. It's going to be a 100% allocation. Shipping method is not required. So we are transferring it from 002 to 01. Fine. This is a warning R and then this is a from R vector. And that's it. I go there. I will now save and then close or save and create another. So I'm going to get one more. So I'll be creating one more. So this time, what happens? I'm going to ship it to the customer. I will now say T01. I will now say ship to customer. So this is a ship to customer. This is sourcing code is going to ship to customer and take over it. And then put on this place. This is the global. And previous one is a local actually. Hi, you see, it is now coming only as a local now. That means what? This is not exactly taken the thing properly. Fine, give a cancel now. Save and create another. Don't do it. It is not coming properly. The org in the global, the organization has to be grayed out. It is not coming properly. I will not give a cancer. Let me make a manual one. I click on plus. And then I will not make a manual one. So go ahead and paste it. Paste it. Now you see, global is now grayed out actually. The organization will be grayed out. So click on plus. So you ensure that the organization is grayed out. Fine, go ahead on actions. And then go to add a row. So this time I am going to transfer. So this transfer means what? Transferring it to customer from 001 or 001 or I am going to transfer it to customer. So it's going to be 100% and then one, ranked one. So we are now completed creation of two of my sourcing rules. One for transfer from 00 to 001, and then one for ship to customer, actually. So it's a transfer from is always ship to. So click on save and close. And then if you go and then make a query on the T01, you will now find both of the sourcing rules will be available. So both the rules are available. Fine. One of the transfer from 002, and then one from ship to customer. So in the meantime, I will go there and then make a search fine. I think probably it got collected. and click on search now. So if you click on search, what happens? You now find the item coming away. Item is coming. So item is available on the master as well as the first child as well as the second child. So we will not do the first setup. Since item is collected, we can very well perform the first setup. So the sourcing rule setup is now completed. Thank you, cancel. So we'll now go. This is the second setup actually. We'll now go there, click on it. We'll now do the first setup of what manage ATP rules. Click on the manage ATP rules. And then I'm going to create an ATP rule. Click on plus now. Let me create an ATP rule. 
T01. So it is a supply chain ATP. Supply chain ATP. So it is a supply chain ATP actually. It is a supply chain ATP and take copy of it. And then here, what are the description? And then here, uh, you enable all the three. It's better actually, man. Uh, it is uh, basically having a, a importance only for the planning actually, but uh, it is it is always preferable to enable all the three. And then enable all the supply sources. Right? Enable all the supply sources. I'm now enabling all the supply sources. And then here, what happens? I make it as a user defined, and then put it as this will be fully taught in a in a what happens? A planning training actually. So I am now making everything as fifty. Fifty fifty. So this will be further further uh, explained in a planning training. When you understand, there are three planning modules: are there, supply planning, demand planning, and then sales and operations planning. So once when you go through it, they will be teaching all these things. So this is a supply chain available design. You can even do it for a lead time based or a infinite. So I am now doing a SC based, SC based. And then we have done everything. And then go to the ADP process. So we are going to assign it. I will now click on personal point. Let us now make an item organization assignment first. We'll drop it down. We will now make an item organization assignment. It is a 001, fine with that. It is a T01 and then give a tab. So when you give a tab, it is not coming fine. Drop it on and then choose to. So go to the search now. Go to the place and then I will not choose it. <coughs> so this is a T01. 01 is the item for a back to back transfer actually. <coughs> so search for it and then choose it. <coughs> go there. So click on search. Right. Select it and then click on it. Okay. And similarly for the second org also, you make an interview. Click on search. And for every org, wherever it is involved, fine. we have to make it now. Fine. Then I get an organization and then go there. And go there. So drop it down. And then again, drop it the in the top. And choose it. And that's it. So my first activity of creating ATP rule is now completed. It is a supply chain ATP. And then I have added the item of both the orgs on the ATP rule assignment. And then the criteria, I have added everything. Fine. I have enabled everything. And then put the three tick marks on this. And click on seven close. So the first activity is now completed. The second activity of creating the sourcing rule is also completed. We'll now go for the final activity of what? Assignment set. These are the three activities which you have to do on the GOP area. You will know, not do these three activities on the GOP area. So click on it. You now go to the third activity. And manage assignment set is the one. And click on it. So let us now go and then create our assignment set for this one. Click on this. So in a real instance, a real scenario, you will have only one assignment set over there. Assignment set. You will not have multiple assignment sets. Only we'll one assignment set you will have. And take it and then take on the base. So leave a save. Stay keep a save. And then click on plus no fine. If you're having two entries, no fine, click on. So this is the one which ultimately decides about how you're going to whatever the progress the fulfillment of this back-to-back -back transfer actually. And drop it down. I will now say item organization. <clears throat> organization is what? 001. 001. Item is T01. And then give it a item will be coming. Sourcing rule. And then I will not choose the sourcing rule fine. T01. So this sourcing rule is basically responsible for transferring it from 002 to 001. Fine. If you have the naming very clear, it will not be confusing you actually. Fine. Give a clear naming on each and every sourcing rule. So this will now bring the material from 002 to 001. Now we are going to ship it to the customer from 001. Fine. Take on plus no fine. Item organization level is completed. Go there. I will now go on and do it. So whenever you have an assignment at item level, it is always shipped to customer. Item is always for ship to customer. I will now put the item and go there. And then go there. Go to the sourcing rule. <coughs> And then here again put it in. So out of these two rules, what happens is the, the, the item org will be first executed because it is based upon the other. So if you have any rule in the bottom, it will be executed first and afterwards the lesser priority rules will be executed next week. So we have a higher priority one. So this will be executed for moving the material from 002 to 001. And then this will now ship it to the customers. After this is now completed, this will now fire. And then it will now ship it to the customer. And that's it. Fine with that. So we are now completed the assignment set. So the assignment set is the real one which will now design the flow of your GOP action. Fine. The global order promising. And remember, for the global order promising, you need to have a license. If you don't have a license, it will not work at all. And save and close by which what happens, it will not complete. Now we are going to set up a profile actually. Click on it. You now go there. Click on set up a profile. So in the meantime, what happens is we have to go there and then we will now collect the item. Fine. We have to collect the order orchestration reference object. I will now go to the supply chain planning. <coughs> We'll not go there. So we'll not go to the supply chain planning and then go to the planning inputs. So whatever you have done on the GOP has to be collected actually. Fine. Click on it. So initially we collected the items on our hand. So now we are going to collect the, the reference objects actually. And then always make it as OPS and then target it. 
So go there and then make it the targeted. Net change, it doesn't work properly. Fine, make it as a targeted. Fine, go there. It is the order, order orchestration reference objects are all GOP setups. So the entire GOP setup, we are collecting it. So keep on submitting. <clears throat> so keep on submit, which whatever is not getting collected. So the collection process is not going on now. Fine, go there. Come on. So in the meantime, what happens? You know, go on and set up a profile actually. One admin profile has to be set properly. Fine, go on it. We will not go to the setup and maintenance. And then we will not set up one of the admin profiles. Just to point to our assignment set actually. Click on it. Now go there. Click on search. No fine. Go to the manage admin profiles. <clears throat> manage percentage. Admin percentage. Profile percentage. So manage admin profile. And go to the manage administration profiles. <clears throat> go to the place. It is called MSP default. MSP percentage. Default percentage. And then query for it. So this has to point to our assignment set actually at the site level. So the point. So the site level, there's no point in the generic one. I will not change it to what T01 now. Fine, go down. Go down. It'll be there in the bottom. I'm not changing it to mine. <clears throat> Drop it down. T01. I don't know changing it. So it's not changing. Fine. So M must be default assignment set is my assignment set. So this is going to be in vogue for our GOP fulfillment actually. Thank you, Consul. The next activity is what you go there and then check up your parameter. Now, fine. Manage shipping parameters. Fine. Ship percentage parameter percentage. So manage shipping parameter the one. Thank you for it. <clears throat> and then choose the org of what zero zero two. Fine. For the org, we are going to make a check now. Fine. Zero zero two. Go to the place under that. So the ship confirmation rule. I have now uh, completed the what about the training on all these things now. Fine. So the ship confirmation rule is the auto ship is okay. Wait and volume is okay. Fine. It's okay. This is in the warning. Fine. The packing slip document sequence category is not coming. It doesn't matter. Fine. It's not a very important one. Go there. And then we have now seen the RSR, the release sequence rule, as well as the pixel grouping rule, how to create it, what are the importance of it. Everything has been seen already. I'm not leaving it as such for you now. So we are going to bring it to the staging. So the staging area is this now. Fine. It's okay. And then here, what happens? Do not enforce the shipping method. Fine. Leave it as such. So that means what? The shipping parameter of the 002 org is perfectly set, so no need to worry at all. So watch my videos on the release sequence rule and then pixel grouping rule. So that will be explaining everything about how to do it, even the ship confirmation rule also. The shipping is a very complex process, and then you have to watch everything. So the next one is what? We have to go there, go to the manage. Uh, Inter-org parameters. Inter-org parameters. We'll go to the manage inter-organization parameters. And go to the manage inter-organization parameters. And then I will not choose from what? 002 to 001. Fine. So, 002. And then give a cancel. No, fine. The two organizations got 001. So, 2 to 1, if you find it out, since it is vision, they would have done everything. And they will be set. I will not click on it. Click on it. So, 002 to 001. I know that. So, from this off to this off, fine. I will not say transfer order required is not. I'm naming it off. We are enabling the transfer order. Okay. Fine. It is in transit. It is not going to be direct. It will be a it is standard one. So, the result loading is going to be transferred. And then the transfer type is in transit. Fine. This also we have explained a lot during transfer orders. No fine. So watch my records on site. So this is for expense destination only. Fine. We are not going to do any expense. Fine. Whether, <laughs> fine. Come on. So this is the only change I made now. And then the result routing has been changed to standard. So watch my previous sessions. Fine. That will be giving you a clear idea. So click on seven close by which happens. The intro parameters are set. Now we go to the what's called manage fine. <laughs> receiving parameter. So. The receiving parameter of the destination org must be set properly. For our case, the destination org is 001. Fine, change org. And then have a look at it. The 001 is the destination org. Fine, click on OK. Fine. The receiving of the destination org must be set properly. So, 001 is coming. Fine, now change now. So, click on it. So, everything is there. So, there is the next number is coming as 42, 143. Fine, it's all set actually. Fine, we also had a lot of discussions, three to four hour discussions on this page. You know, fine. So much have been done. So, I'm not going to discuss anything at all. So it is all set actually, fine. No need to worry at all. Fine. I will not give a cancel. So whenever you go into your form to only view, give a cancel and then come out of it. If you made a change, then save and close. Fine. Remember, this is a software logic. Fine. This is a software quality. So when you're going and then watching it, do not give a save and close. This is a software quality. Cancel and then come out. So all the prerequisites have been done now. We'll now go on and have a look at the collection. I will now go to the what? I will now go to the star icon. And then I go to the monitor process, and then the collection is now running now. Right? You'll now see whether the collection has got completed or not. So go to the monitor process. Now the collection is now happening. Fine. The collection of the order orchestration reference object is now running. So you can go there, fine. All right. you now have a look at it. So refresh it. Fine. The last concurrent in the series is what? Delete staging data. 
So it's still running now, fine. So we had to wait for the corrections to complete. And then afterwards, only we can do it now. I will now pass the record for some time till I get the last concurrent of what? Uh, worker to delete stage data. Fine. The second concurrent is now still running now. Fine. So we wait for it. So let me pass the record for some time now. So the worker to delete stage data is the final set of concurrents, and then it has also purged the staging tables when every activity is completed. So let us now log out and log in, and then we'll now create a sales order. So click on it for no sign up. Sign in. So whenever you make any major changes, it is always preferable to log out and log in so that the changes will be effective. We are now logging in. So let us now go ahead and then create our sales order because all the activities of setup is completed. So previously we had to perform a refresh and start. Now it is no more required. From 22B onwards, I was told that what happens that the refresh and start is no more required. And then here I will now go to the order management. So I will now go to the order management. So go to the order management. Previously we have gone to the global order promising. Now we'll now go to the order management area. And then before you do it, what happens? We have to give the pricing also. Fine, the pricing is not set properly. <coughs> Let us now set up the pricing also. <coughs> so I will now what happens? Save this area. Fine, click on it. So go to add to favorites, <coughs> and then manage orders. So let me go and then create an order. So before it, what happens? We have to go and then set up the pricing. Also. Click on the home icon, and then let us now set up the pricing. Fine, go to the pricing administration. Let us now give all items price of one for example. We will now give all items price of one. So go to the manage price list and then query for the corporate corporate one. Fine. The corporate corporate segment price list one. That is the one. Corporate segment price is one. Fine. The one. So so this is the one of fine. So corporate segment price is the one which vision is using it and go there. I will now provide an all items price of one. Go to the all items and then the no price of one. So click on it. I will not click on price now. Fine. For every unit of measures, it will be there. My, my unit of measures will each actually. For each, I will not create a charge. Let us say the price is going to be two dollars. <coughs> so let us okay. So for all items, this is the price actually. Fine. This is only for test purposes. In reality, they will be having real price. I love it. And then go to the start date. And then let us not provide a start date price. That's it. So the price is now set actually for two dollars. I click on save and close. Now we can very well go and create our sales order. Remember, pricing need not be collected. Only items and attributes in the stocks need to be collected, but our pricing need not be collected. And if you change an attribute on the item also, that need not be collected. So there are some exceptions for the collection actually. So click on the home star icon. I go to what? I go to manage orders and then let me create an order. So click on create order. So the first activity I do is what? On the right hand side, go on the set up your business unit. Since Vision is now having an access to multiple view, Drop it down and then choose over you. And then let us now choose a ready made customer on the vision fine with the computer service and device. Computer services and device with the ready made customer. So let not choose it. So once when you put it, you will now get the bill, built account, built account, everything will be coming. Fine. All these data will be getting populated. So once when everything gets populated, have a look at your segment and strategy. Go to actions and then go to view pricing segment and strategy. Fine. See that yours is coming. Fine. Corporate segment group one as well as corporate pricing strategy group one are the two ones which are used by vision actually. Fine. Nobody has fiddled around, so it's all okay. Fine, click on it. So let me my item find so that the T0101. So the price is one dollar, two dollars. So fine, give it a to be coming. And remember, we have a stock of five. So we have a stock of five. <coughs> and then if you give a tap. So we are going to make a transfer actually. We are going to make a transfer from the 002 to 001. So we already have a stock of five in this place. So it says what it is in stock. Since we want only five, what happens? We have already have a five. So it will not change it to twelve now. Fine, twelve. So it is now showing as in stock. So I will now make it twelve and then give a tap. So if you give a tap, we will now see what exactly is coming. So low inventory availability of five is coming. So that means what we have only five. So we have to transfer seven quantities from the second door to first door. So we already have five on this door. So we have to transfer seven from the second door. Fine, click on add, and that's it. So we are adding it. So once we add it, so the low inventory availability is coming because that's not because the GOP set is not coming. Fine. The low inventory availability will not show only for the GOP enabled items. Fine. When the back to back order enabled, if it is not a back to back order enabled, it will not show this at all. Fine. It will be saying data not retrieved actually in the model. So go there. And then in the second tab region, there is no need to provide any supply source at all because it is a back to back. You can go there. If you go to the place, supply sources need not be given. The which value they are going to ship it because our 
our assignment set is now going to say it is going to what transfer it from 0, 0, 0 to 0, 0, 001 and then finally ship it from 0, 0, 001. Fine. Everything has been set on the GOB. So no need to supply any warehouse at all. And click on submit directly. Otherwise, for a normal one, we had to supply the warehouse supply as we done. The supply, the warehouse has to be put under that. So we are not doing it now. <coughs> so click on it. I'll now open up a notepad now. So notepad, let me open it up. Now. I'm opening a notepad. And then one with the sales order is now submitted. I will now note down the sales order number over there. So it will now start to progress on the do now. So 97410 is the one. 97410 is the one. So go there, click on it. And then click on OK. 97410 is the one. So it has now gone to processing now. It will now switch to fulfillment mode. Go to actions and go to switch to fulfillment mode. We will now have a look at how it's progressing on the do. So go there. Now. So go there. So click on the what happens the do number on this orchestration process number in the main area. Thank you. Monica. If you want to open up the next page, here. so that we'll now go to the orchestration plan and then have a look at it and how it's progressing on this. So click on it. It is going to progress in the orchestration flow now. So the GOP has been set for what? Transferring it from second order to first order with your appropriate sourcing rules also. So it will be creating a transfer order actually. So the last thing is to wait, nothing, you have to wait for it. And then wait, 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 and then do it. It's it. Sometimes what happens if you be having a delay. So the instance becomes slow at times now. Right? So it's now waiting, waiting, waiting. So I've already clicked on the hyperlink on this one now. Click on the link. Now uh, it is now progressing on this now. It is now progressing on the uh, do workflow actually, right? It is the order fulfillment generic process is now fired, scheduled. The reservation will now change to what? Request orchestration of supply. If you go on that, what happens? You go there and then it will now change to what? Request orchestration of supply. Now. It says the scheduling has started actually. And then once when the scheduling is completed, the reserve will now change to what? Request orchestration of supply. If you go to the right hand side and then click on refresh now, we are refreshing it. So once when I refresh it, once when the scheduling is completed, the reservation will now change to what happens. It has now gone to request orchestration of supply. It has now got completed. The past task is also completed. Now it has gone to awaiting shipping actually. So that means what? It is now ready for shipping it, rather bringing it from 00 to R to 001 mark. Thank you for refresh now. And then it has now gone to the awaiting shipping. I go to the fulfillment area. I go to the fulfillment lines now. Thank you for the fulfillment lines. And then go there. I will now go to the supply details. And then here, you will now find the supply order number coming up over here. The supply order number will be coming. And click on the now. It will take some time actually. So wait for it to what happens that bring in data now in the space. Find the supply order number will be coming. So click on refresh. So sometimes it even takes a longer time. So in the meantime, what happens? We'll now go there and then see whether any transfer order has been created or not for this item. It has been transferred from the second order to first order moment. The transfer order has got created actually. Because this has now got interfaced. I will now right click and then duplicate. And I will now right click and duplicate. Let us now go on the check the transfer order first. So I will now go to what? The inventory overview. I will now go to the manage inventory overview. And then there, I will now check for the transfer order. Click on it. I will now go on the check for the transfer order. So go to the what? Manage transfer orders. So go to the manage transfer orders. <clears throat> I will now go there. Come on it. I will now query for the source org is what? 002. So the destination organization is 001. So it can be in any org, it doesn't matter. Yeah, as long as you're putting this, it's fine. Click on search. It will now show you the transfer order. <coughs> so click on search. So it will now take some time for the things to come up over here now. <coughs> so the sales order line has got split into two. One for five, which we are going to ship it from our warehouse. And then another for seven, which you're going to bring it from the other transfer. So let us know it has got two different uh, orchestration numbers now. Fine, keep your cursor on the second one and then click on the orchestration number of the seven quantities. And then you go to the orchestration plan. So now everything is coming to it. So, so it has already been interfaced with shipping execution. I go to the full print lines for the seven quantities. Don't go there. Go to the place. You have got a supply order number coming up. So this is the supply order number. So before we go to the transfer order screen, what happens? We will now go and then check our supply order screen. I will now click on the home icon. 
<coughs> so the supply order number score number is not coming over here go to place i will now go to what your supply chain execution and then here i go to the supply orchestration area. so you go to the supply chain execution and then go to the supply orchestration area and then have a look at it so go to the supply orchestration area so click on it and then have a look at the item so go to this place go to that. so we have got two lines now over there so there are no errors actually and on track on track is not showing you and one is on and and then one is a transfer actually and on and and transfer are coming and there is no errors at all and it is not showing you on the what's called on the main area itself and on the main uh, area itself it's not showing you and you have to click on, you have to click on it so click on the task list so click on the task list and then here we'll now go to what well, now look at the lines. The system is again slow now. I need to wait for it to get completed. <clears throat> In the meantime, what happens? I will now right click and then duplicate. And I will now have a look at the transfer orders also, which has been created for us. So the supply outline is not coming at all. Click on it. It has to show you this. The system is somewhat slow actually. It is exactly coming. <clears throat> So I'll now go to this area and then here in the supply chain execution, I go to the inventory management and then I will now look at the transfer orders. So it took some time actually for doing all this thing. You go to the place, manage transfer orders. So let us now see the transfer order which has to come from 002. The source only is what 002 and then the destination is 001. So the destination is what 001 and then make a search. If you make a search, it will now show you the transfer order which has been created by the scope supply chain orchestration the supply chain orchestration will now create a transfer order so this is a transfer order for seven quantities actually it has already been created so it will also reflect over here now but it is not this screen is somewhat slow actually so for the seven quantities it is not uh, the screen is not progressing at all fine i'm unable to do it otherwise it will not clearly show fine let me do one thing i'll now go there right click on the duplicate one more cabbage and i will now open up again. sometimes what happens is these screens are getting stuck actually close it i will now go to this place and then I go to the supply chain execution and go to the supply orchestration. So from here, let me go on and verify. Now. Click on it. These two lines are coming in the main area. I know that manage supply lines. If you go to the manage supply lines and click on it, you'll now find the supply order would have been created actually. You go to the manage supply lines. I will now query for the item. Item, what happens? It starts with, I must say, starts with T0101. So click on search. <coughs> We will make a search. It is not showing you two lines of this now. Right? One is already reserved. The on hand is already reserved, and then transfer is in logistics section. Right? On hand is already reserved. Right? So five one is already reserved, and then seven is in logistics. So if you click on it, what happens? We will wait. Now the system will not allow you to ship the file at all, even though we have a file which is been reserved actually. It has already been reserved, but it will not allow you to even ship also. It now wait for the seven quantities arrive and then together only we can ship it actually. So it's not showing you this nothing over So if you expand it, so on end is not showing over here nothing. So I think both of them are having a different number actually. A different number. So I'm going to click on done nothing. So on the five, it is not showing you and going to cancel nothing. So if you keep your cursor on the seven, nothing. second line, when this is a, having a different number. So it's a different number, it's the same number only. Find five, and then the seven has to come out. Ah, nine five zero two seven. Ah, is a different number. Is the five then this is a is a different number. And click on the score number for the transfer actually. And click on the score number. That is for the on hand. It is now showing you five. The different number is seven. And the process one over. So this is the one. And right? click on it. And then here we can even see the doc execution documents. Right? It is a transfer order reservation. And then next is what intro shipment. Right? Intro shipment. And then put away. And then finally fulfilling completion. So all these things are coming. So the transfer order is created. The reservation is also done. If you go to the execution document, they will show you what are the things that are there on the transfer order. Right. So we have a reservation number coming up, and then this is the transfer order number. 133046 is the transfer order number. So go to the manual transfer order number. This is the 133046. So if you select it, and then here, what happens? You go there, and then we will now click on the view shipments and receipts on the right hand side top. It will now show you, but nothing has been shipped. So in the meantime, what I do is I will now try to ship the five quantities, right, which has been reserved now. Right? I will not go there. Right click and then duplicate. I will not try to ship it now directly. I will not go there. 
So right click and duplicate. So let us not try to ship it. The five commodities I'm going to ship it. I will not go there. I will not go to the supply chain execution and go to the inventory management. Let me try to ship it. So here I go there. So click on it. I will not go to the shipments. Go to the shipments. And then go there. And then I will not go there. Click on it. I will not go to the what? Manage shipment lines. So manage shipment lines. And then let me query on the order number. Fine. The order number is what? It is 97410. So 97410 is the one. And then I will now make it as a before one. And then make a search. Click on search. So five quantities are already reserved. So five quantities which are already there in the inventory, they are reserved for this one. And click on search. They are already reserved. <clears throat> so go on and search for it. So, go there. so we have two lines now, five and seven. So on the fifth, five lines, what I do is I will now create a shipment actually. And click on it. Let me get a shipment. And then let us not try to pick auto create shipment. Only for the first line, I'm creating it. So go there. Second line, we don't have any stock, and then I'm not doing it anyway. For the first line, I am not putting a shipment. So the shipment number is created. I will not click on it. I will not launch the pick release for this. I click on it. Let me launch the pick release for this. 67195. I am going to launch the pick release. So click on it. I will not launch the pick release for this. So first activity is pick release and then ship confirmation. Go to actions and then go to pick release. Right? You know, pick releasing it now. And everything has been fully explained in my previous training, previous videos. Please watch it. Now. So the concurrent is now launched. So go there. I will now give what it is. Fine. Give the save and close. Fine. Save and close. We are now launched the concurrent for doing the pick release. Now, fine. So if you go and then make a search, fine. go and make a search. And click on search now. Fine. If you make a search, fine. We are now searching for it. It is not even touch this line at all. So it is expecting for the seven quantities also to arrive. And then only what happens, you can very well do it. So go there. So in the seven also, what I do is I will now add to shipment. Now, fine, click on it. I will now add to shipment. Fine. Six, seven, one, nine, five is the one. Add to shipment. Add to shipment. I'm adding it now. Six, seven, one, nine, five. Six, seven, one, nine, five is the number. Now go there. I will now put what? Six, seven, one, nine, five. And then give it app. <clears throat> And then click on search for it now. And then I'm going to add it to the ship. And click on add. So both the lines are now having the same shipment number. So if you try to launch the pick release, naturally what happens is since we don't have a seven quality available here, it has to get back ordered now, fine, but nothing is happening. So the system internally puts them on a ship set action. So go to actions and then go to what? The, this number is now having both the lines actually. So one is, so you see, the first line is staged actually. Very good. Right? The first line is staged actually. And the first line is staged. So the first line stage, second line will be getting backward. If I do it, what happens? The second line will be getting backward. And click on the pick release. So I will now do again a pick release. No point. So the second line, we don't have any material, so it has to get backward. So the first line is already staged. Let us now try to ship it. We'll now see whether it is now allowing you to ship or not. Fine. This is already backordered. So once when it is backordered, the shipment number is also removed. So let us not try to ship the first line itself for five commodities. We'll now see. Previously, it was not happening at any when you try to ship it, what happens? It will not happen. You will not see what happens now. Fine. On 22D, I will not experiment it. Fine. So the shipment number for the second one is bad. What happens? Uh, it's got back, uh, what happens? It has got back ordered because we don't have any material. It has to come from the second order. And so click on this. It will not try to ship confirm it. We will not see whether it goes to the customer or not. Previously, it was not going. So probably they might have made some modification. Fine. Click on ship confirmation. In 22D, they might have made some modification. Now. And no ship confirm again. So it is giving you a warning. Fine. The weight and volume is only required for transportation management. So otherwise, we can ignore it and then click on S. And see whether it goes and then get shipped or not. And go there. So it's shipped. Very good. Fine. Previously, it doesn't happen. Fine. They have put both things on a ship set. So what happens? So only when both the items are available, then only what happens? It will be doing it. <clears throat> so what else? Fine. So let us now see ship. And then finally, it will now go to interface. Now, fine. If you go to the right click and then duplicate. And then have a look at the uh, what happens, the monitor process. Now, click on it. So we'll now go to this place and then click on the monitor process. The send shipment advice will be responsible for interfacing the shipping execution to order entry. So go to the monitor process. And then we'll now have a look at the monitor. So monitor process, I'm going to have a look at the monitor. So SSA is running. So once when it is completed, what happens, the sales order will be getting updated as what ship. Tell the time, what happens, the sales order will be having the same name. So go to the order finished application. The one now. <clears throat> Uh, 97410 is the one. Fine. So I'm in the seven quantities actually. Fine. Click on channel and come out of it. The five quantities has to come back. 
the five commodities, what happens? It has to go to what? Shipped actually. So once when the one process of send shipment advice is getting completed, once when we succeeded, then the sales order line of five will be shipped actually. So previously it was not happening at all. It was not happening. So it waits for the seventh quantity also to come from the second order. And then together it allows you to ship. Now what happens? It is now allowing you a partial ship also. It is now allowing you a partial ship also. It is now allowing you a partial ship also. <clears throat> so awaiting shipping is coming to us. Since this action is still coming up, right? the send ship and advice is still running actually. So we wait for it to complete now. So once it is completed, we can now see on the sales order that it will be done. <clears throat> So let us now refresh the send shipment advice SSA concurrent. So it is now succeeded. Now we'll now go to the order entry and then have a look. And then if you refresh it, what happens? It would have gone to ship that. The line would have gone to ship that. The line is now shipped. And then it will now go to awaiting billing also. And if you go to the first line, and then have a look at what happens here. Order fulfillment lines. And then click on the do number now. And then see that it is now shipped. And then the billing process would have started. Of the billing process. So now invoice will not start actually. It is not shipped to back to back, is not shipped actually. The billing process will not soon start. So the on hand is now available for shipping. Previously, I was having a problem in not able to ship it actually, and now it is shipping it. On hand can be shipped actually. So it is allowing it to ship actually. Not running. The invoice will not soon start. So in the meantime, what happens? It will not go on the transferring from the first part. If you go to the transfer orders, you okay, go to the transfer orders. We have a transfer order available. Okay, so 133046 will now go there and then pick, we'll now pick and then ship it. Okay. I will now go to the placement. I will now right click on the duplicate. So we will now go to what? Pick and ship actually. <clears throat> We're going to perform a pick and ship. So the transfer order is there from there. So I will now go to what? Supply chain execution and then go to the inventory management. And then this time I will now go to the second door. I will now go to the place. <coughs> Right. Go to the shipments and then go to the managed shipments. On this. We are going to pick this transfer order. Number. So the transfer order number is what? 133046. Five, one. Five, First of all, change the order to 002 now. Change the order to 002. 002 is the order. Right. I'm not changing it to 002. So once when it's changed, what happens? We'll now put this number over here. The org is now changed to 002. I will now go to the managed shipment lines. Let me call it the transfer order number. Right. 133046 is the one. And the one. Is it 133046 is the one time for that, and then make it as before, and then make a search. So, we are going to pick it, fine. We are going to pick it and then ship it from the second hour towards the first hour. So, so go there, you know, coming fine. Go to actions and then go to pick release. So, the pick release is now happening on the second hour. So, go there. Seven quantities are going to be picked up, and the seven each actually. So, wait we'll for it, it will be getting staged on the second. Hour. So, click on seven close. By which what happens when we're getting staged in the second. So it's no stage, and then the shipment number is created. Let us now ship it from the second order to first order. So we'll now click on that. What happens if you go there? The shipment number is created. If you go to the manage transfer orders, then click on this one. So go there. I will now have a look at it. The transfer order number. So click on done and then come out of it. You can now see that it will be the shipment number would have got created. Click on the new shipment number. Now you can see the shipment number is getting created. It is open actually. Fine. It is not a ship that not ship. So 67196, the shipment number just got created on the transfer order. We will now go to this place, find 67196. If you click on it, we will now ship it now. You're going to ship it. So click on it. It will be getting shipped. So go to the place. I will now perform a ship confirmation. The ship confirmation from the second order towards the first org is now happening. Fine. Ignore all the warnings because it's a wait and volume. Fine. And then if you go to the transfer orders, now you can see the expected receipt date will be coming based upon the time which has been given. That will be coming. So once when the shipment status is closed, what happens? You'll now see the expected result rate on the 001 or when that is our destination or and click on done. <clears throat> and then here again, what happens? The view shipment and results now. Find click on the view shipments and results. And you can now see this will be getting closed now. Find the line status is closed, and then we are expecting it on this date actually. So they have given a in transit time between the second or to first or as three days. That is why we are shipped on 20th and then it is expected on 20th. So these are all only for information purposes. We can very well receive on today itself. Right? We can very well receive it on today itself. So it's not shipped. You can now see the ship is not. So we have to receive and deliver. So once it is received and delivered, now the sales order will now progress to what? What happens if we go there? We want it. So click on OK now. So it will be completed. Uh, it's not shipped actually. The second line. 
and the first five quantities. And then if you go to the first one, no, thank you. There is about the seven quantities. You go there. You keep your cursor on the second one, second one, and then click on the do number on the seven. Now, right? click on the do number on the seven. Now you can see that what happens there. It will not. What happens? Avoiding shipping. If you go to the fulfillment lines, find that one. <coughs> fulfillment lines, find that. And then you go there. So avoiding supply. So it is still avoiding supply from the second order actually. It is avoiding supply on the second order. Mm -hmm. So in the manage shipment lines, what happens? There's no ship. Fine. There's no ship. And then here, if you go to the transfer order lines, fine. There's no ship there. So click on the one. <clears throat> it's not shipped actually. And then click on the view. Then now we have to receive it in the second order. We have to receive it in the second order. So again, the SSA is running actually. If you go to the monitor process, you cannot see one more SSA will be running now. So one more SSA. There's a one. So the second SSA is running now. Right? So the second SSA is running. Five two seven. The previous SSA is what this one somewhere in the five not seven or something like that. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. Number is there. So now. Uh, I will now query on my name also. So I have no query on PRC10. So that what happens is only my concurrence will be showing over here now. Right? PRC10. I am now going to query now. First time. No click on search. It will now show only my concurrence actually. I now logged in as a PRC10. So the send ship interface is succeeded. So it has got interfaced into what happened the destination org. Now let us now go to the destination org and then receive it. In this place, what happens? It is not a received and then not a delivered actually. So let us now go to the place. Thank you for it. Let us now go to the destination or thank you for cancel. Now. Thank you for that. I will now go to the inventory now. Thank you for it. Now give a cancel. So here this is what happens. I will now go there. I will now go to the receipt area. I will now click on the receipt now. Click on the receipt. In the receipt, I will now go to the receive expected shipments. On the transfer order number, I am going to put you now. So the transfer order number is what? 133 and then give a tap. So number here. <coughs> it is a 133046 now. Fine. It has to come. So one thing is the org is wrong now. Fine. Click on change org. So let us now change the org to what? Our 001 now. And click on change org. Go there. It is a 001. Fine. I am now on the destination org now. Fine. Click on 001. And click on OK now. So we are in the destination org. So it has now come over here. Fine. Go there. We will now click on receive now. Fine. Click on. We'll now go to the place. So go to the receive, receive expected shipments. So 133046 is the number. Fine. 133. If you write it and then give it a tab, it will be coming. The balance number will be coming automatically over here. You know, coming. And click on search. So we are going to receive the seven point. Select it and then what happens? I click on receive. So we are now receiving it now in the destination order. So click on receive. <coughs> <coughs> so we are now receiving it fine. So click on the show receipt quantity. It will now show seven is expected from this R now and second half and now showing it. And click on create result. So by which what happens? The GR number gets created. We are now receiving it in the second half. So go that on, click on submit. So it is now received at so once when it is received, the managed transfer order will be having an update on the receipt actually. This is the number now, year number. So go there. So it will take okay. And year number is not that. And if you go to the transfer order, it will not say it's received actually. And click on done and then come back now. And click on done. And then again come back come back with these shipments and receipts. It will not see that what happens is someone is received. Nothing is delivered actually. And nothing is delivered. And then this is based upon the transit time actually. It will now go there and then deliver it now. And click on the So it is now received. It does not deliver it. Now go to this place, fine, click on it. You know, deliver it. So go to this place. I will now put, do a put away now. Click on put away. So by which what happens is now getting put away. So go there. This is the result number, GR number. I'm putting it fine. Give a tab now. And then click on search. We are now performing a put away. So select it and then click on put away. We're now putting it away. <clears throat> and then it doesn't put away into a sub inventory fine. Go that phone. I will now choose to bring the sub <clears throat> So let me choose stores now. Fine. The store we are receiving it now. So click on submit. So one when the put-away transaction is completed, the transfer order will also be getting updated. The put-away is not completed. Either. If you go to the transfer order, you can now see the delivered also will be coming as a And click on done and then come out of it and come back again now. And click on the view shipments and receipts. If you again come back, no delivery. So the transfer process from 002 to 001 is now fully complete. And then if you go there, click on it, it will now say what goods are available for shipping actually. Is now awaiting shipping. And click on refresh now. Fine. So there is no need to run any concurrent for updating the sales order actually. So it will automatically say that what happens is goods are available now. So it takes some time for this moment. The goods are available for shipping actually. Go down. <laughs> waiting supply. So we had to wait for some time for the system to update, but there's no need for run to run any ESS job or anything like that. So the bottom also is saying that it is awaiting supply actually. Right? So if I refresh it, what happens? It will not say goods are available for shipping it. So click on refresh. It has to say as what goods are available for shipping it. So there's no showing a wedding set like you know, it takes some time actually. So in the meantime, we can very well ship it actually. We will now go to the what 
the put away process i will now go to the put away process put away resolution and go down i will now go to the shipment area and then i will now try to ship it so these seven quantities are already available here now i will now go to what go to the inventory i am already in the inventory mode i will now go to the shipments now i click on the shipments i will now go to the shipments to the I will not go to the manage shipment lines. This time, I will not come back to 001 org. I am already in the 001 org. Okay, friends. And I will not put the sales order number again. 97410. If you click on refresh again, I'm refreshing it again. It just shows what goods are available. I don't know why it's not coming soon. <laughs> so 97410 for seven quantities, I'm going to ship. So go to the manage shipment lines. So 97410 is the one. I will not say is before and then make a search. Such. One is already interface to order entry actually, and then for the five quantities. So this is already interface to this back order actually. So go to the So here I will now create an order rate shipment fine. I will not create a shipment actually. So for this one, I'm not creating a shipment for the seven quantities. So the shipment number is now created. It's created. Fine. You click on the shipment number and then will now launch the pick release. So here, if the quantity is sensed, actually, it should not get back ordered wrong. So here, sensing of the quantity is not happening at all. It's taking so much of a time. Man, in, this place. in the managed supply lines, also, if you go on and refresh it, and in this place, if you go on and refresh it, it will also show that what happens, it has been what happens, it has been shipped actually. Seven has been shipped and what is now coming. And then if you go to the orchestration plan, you can also see that what happens the transfer order, reservation, intro shipment has come, and then the put away has also happened now. That is not in get update now. Afterwards, the fulfillment completion will come. It will ship. And then finally, it will be fulfilled once when you ship it to the customer. Now see. What is the status of this? No ship actually. So no ship. And then the put away is also happen. That also will be getting updated on the supply chain area, SCO area, and supply chain orchestration area has to get updated. So go to this place and go to the management and lines. And then here I will now perform what happens. Yeah, pick you now. Click on the pick list. So I'm going to pick list. It is already back ordered previously because we don't have any material. So now what happens? It has to go to stage now. So if the stock is already there. So it has to go to stage. Drop it down. And then save and close, and then you can now see the seven quantities would have been staged. If I make a search on this, I'm going to go and then again search for it. So expand it and make a search. It has to come as what staged. Now it is staged. So let us now do the picking and then shipping of this to the customers. So previously they wait for both the quantities to come. Now what happens? The workflow has been changed. I think. So whatever is available also can be shipped. Actually, and the reward is coming. So click on it. So changes used to happen now and then. So click on it. I will not perform the ship confirmation first. So the ship confirmation is not happening. Thank you for me. So it is now shipped actually. <clears throat> it is not so now the SSA will be running. Fine. Wait for it to come. So once when the SSA runs, when the 521 SSA, ending on 521, now the new SSA will be. SSA is responsible for interfacing the shipping execution into order entry actually. So once when it is run, the order will be getting updated. So SSA is going to run now. So once it is run, you can now see this line would have been shipped actually. Fine, you know, in the awaiting shipping, fine. It will not go to the shipping. And then finally, it will not go to the awaiting billing. So refresh, refresh. Now, we have to wait for this concurrent to complete now, actually. So this process is now happening now. If I click on done now, and then come to the main area. The one. So two lines are there. So now you can see the five quantities have now gone to awaiting billing. This is now awaiting shipping. If I click on done, and then come to the main area of the sales order. Now come to the main area of the sales order. So click on it. So the main line is also got split actually. So this is what is happening. So what happens? Okay. Based upon the stock, what happens? It is now getting split also. So it is not shipped. See, now it has gone to ship. So that means what this SSA might have got completed. If you refresh it, you can now see the SSA has got completed. So there is a response to that. So this completes a complete back-to-back -back transfer from 002 to 001. And then finally, the sales order is also updated in the appropriate ones. So finally, what happens once when the invoice starts, it will also go to the billing. Then we have to run the auto invoice. So once when the invoice is imported, then what happens? It will not, what happens? It will not be going to close that. Way. So let us now refresh it and then wait for the invoice to get complete. So you know, ship. it has to go to awaiting billing actually. It has to go to awaiting billing. So we are waiting for the what's called we go to the actions and then go to the system view. Mm -hmm. Go to the place and then how is that system view. So go there. So it is now simply shipped only. It is not a ship. What is not happening? 
and then if you click on the do number on the shipped one, you know, see that the invoice activity has got started or not. I'll go to the orchestration panel and have a look at it. So the invoice activity has to get started. It has not started. So it is now in the process of what is going to happen. So I will know in the meantime, what happens, I will not start what? Uh, my order invoice import now, I'll go to the month process. So click on the scheduling process. I will not import it. I will not import it. So go there. The order invoice import. Auto. Invoice, import auto invoice. This is import auto, and then what happened? The import auto invoice. Go to the place one, click on it. And then here, I'm not going to import it actually. So, business unit is what? US1. And then what happened? US1 business unit. So, the transaction source is what? Distributed order orchestration. I choose the distributed order orchestration. That is the one I'm choosing at the time. I'm not giving any sales order number. So it's a generic one, which I'm going to run on. I will now wait only for this to go to awaiting billing actually. So the second line has to go to awaiting billing. So once it has gone, then you know, it has gone to awaiting billing. So let us now run this concurrently. So click on submit. You don't. We're now going to bring in all the things into the base tables of AR now. So awaiting billing means what? It has now gone to the interface tables of AR. Now it will now come to the base tables of AR. So now it will now go to build and then finally close that. Import order invoice is running. So once it is completed, now the status will now go to build and then finally get closed. So it is the responsibility of the CSR to close each and every line. Each and every line closure is a responsibility. So you will now go there and then close each and every line. And what are you doing? You click on that one. So it's not gone there. So here, if you refresh it, it will be getting built and then finally closed actually. So click on that question. So we had to wait for this import process to complete now. Wait for the import order invoice to get complete. And no running, running. It will also inform the feeder system that it has been imported actually. A concurrent for informing the feeder system. The feeder system is order entry for the AR actually. So it will be communicating to the feeder system that it has been built. So once when the billing activity is completed, the CSR's activity gets completed actually. <clears throat> the CSR's activity is getting completed. So import order invoice is running, running, running. <clears throat> so import order invoice execution. You can now see. Then notify the feeder system for the receivable transactions. Fine, they're not going to run now. Right? They're not completed. They're not going to notify it. So once when the notification gets completed, now you can now see that the sales order will be built actually. So click on refresh now. Right? A wedding billing will be coming to build. So go that point. So it will be going to build now. Right? So let that concurrent come in. So it will be built for a brief time and then it will be getting closed because the activity on the sales order is not complete. It will be built only for the brief time. So click on it. A wedding billing is still running now. Right? So go to the mount process and how it will So notify feeder system has to get turned on. It doesn't succeed actually. It has already succeeded. So it has to, what happens, it? go to refresh and then it is not built actually. And you see it's built up. So after some time, what happens, it will be getting closed. It is not built actually. So if you click on refresh, it will be getting closed actually. So the line is closed. Then we have to close the header actually. Fine, line is not closed. So we have to close the header now. Fine, the word is closed. So once when all the lines are closed, we can close the header now. And go to the place. <clears throat> I will now go to what? Share a new process. I will now say update closed. Update percentage close percentage. So it is the responsibility of the CSR to what happens to close all the lines as well as header also. Update or close sales order. So by which he will be reporting to the management about how much of job he has completed. The entry is what header. He will now schedule these concurrent. Now, fine. I will now make the interval hours as zero. Now, fine. So that it will be closing immediately. So whichever is eligible for closure, that only will close. So okay. if if any of the lines is not closed, the header cannot be closed. So click on submit to find which happens we are going to close it. Click on submit it. So we'll now wait for the update to close out. So in fact, what happens in the evening meeting, the CSRs will be having with the management. He will now say how many lines he has closed today and then how many headers he has closed. So that is a credit for him. And then whatever is not closed, he has to give a reasoning also why it is not closed, what the, where exactly it is getting stuck actually. Because only after he closes everything, the AR team will now start to current the payments actually. So update or close sales order is now ready. It has now succeeded actually. If you go to this place, I'm going to have a look at it. If you refresh it, the header would have got closed. Click on refresh. Header would have got closed. So it's not closed. So this completes a complete life cycle of what OM to AR for a back-to-back -back transfer actually. <clears throat> I hope that uh, this session has given you a lot of information for you. Know, this is the latest one actually. So previously, I have not contacted this on a 22D actually. Fine. So this is a 22D version. Fine. So hope that this is of a great information for you. Fine. Bye for now.